Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inner Power Training. I have a special guest today, someone that I've known for quite a few years. He is Dr. Chad Edward. He's a naturopath doctor. I met him quite a while ago, um, and he's an interesting one because he has met so many people that work in the esoteric, exoteric, whatever you want to call it, world of... Um, you know, the higher dimensions. <laughs> he's met contactees, he's met inventors that have um, brought some amazing things into the three-dimensional world. Um, I know I used to see some of the pyramids and healing devices that Chad was into, and he still is. And he's had a very, very interesting journey, but he is on his way to Romania with Peter Moon, who is an author who's written seven books, I guess, at this point. And they're off to Romania to explore more of um, what's going on there with the Sphinx, the underground tunnels, the mountains that are there that are guarded by, I guess, the military, because there's some very interesting things that happen in Romania. So he's going to tell us a little bit more about that. But um, I will let. Um, Chad, take over and give us a little bit more of an introduction about himself and how he ended up going to Romania with Peter Moon, because that's kind of interesting. Um, I know you belong to a group of people um, run by Mary Hardy is the yeah. woman. Can you tell us a little more about that? Well, yeah, first of all, thank you for uh, for having me in, in uh, doing this. And, and by all means, you know, I get off on tangents sometimes, so bring me back. And okay get me where I'm supposed to be because you know what this whole topic is about but yes I've been working with Mary Hardy and the uh, Knights Templars and the Marys for years uh, in Allegan Michigan at the Temple of Saqqara and uh, you didn't mention that we've traveled around a lot and been to right. some events uh, in Mount Shasta, McLeod, Colorado, Crestone, uh, we've been a, a lot of places together, events that my friends have gone Well, think about when we were in Mount Shasta for that conference, mm -hmm. and bingo, you run into Donald Tony, who mm -hmm. becomes very significant in your life. Mm -hmm. It was like a divine connection. He His book just came out. You might want to talk about that a little bit, too. That was fascinating. Yeah, well, while we're on a subject, uh, his name is Donald Mitchell Tony, DMT, dimethyltryptamine, if anybody knows what that is. Uh, a lot of us were his uh, students, uh, and it's divine timing why I was one of his last students. Uh, we met him in 2018, as you know. I spent some time at his house with him after I met him in Oroville, uh, California. I went back months after we had met him. We did an interview, which is on YouTube now, on my Shaman Shaman YouTube channel. You can, everybody can meet Donald M. Tony, and he told some of his students who he really is on this planet. Uh, he's the Arc A R C H, not A R K or A R C angel. Seventy two A R C angels and only seven Arch angels. You know, Michael Gabriel. He was Gabriel. And he was here to give everybody a message, okay? Uh, just like we get the message when the DMT drips from our pineal gland and we start to understand the other dimensions and we see things with our real eyes, the pineal gland, the third eye, instead of these two, like Jesus said in the Bible. You know, we have two eyes, but we don't see. We have ears, we don't hear. Because we're not hearing with the right senses. And that's what kind of this video is all about, the symbolism the vortexes that we bring in and what we need to do on this planet because uh, what has happened here, we're in a battle and it's the battle of good and evil. And unless we change it with, with the free will that God gave us, okay? And he wants us to do this. Uh, and if we don't, we can stay enslaved on this planet or we can bring heaven down to earth. That's what we want to do. And this is why if this gets played uh, at the conference, uh, the Temple of Saqqara 
And there's a lot of people there that, that know me and a lot of people that know what we're doing. They're going to get the symbolism and how this is all connected, how I got connected with Peter Moon. Uh, I'll get to that in a second about Montauk and Romania. Uh, Juan and I started this journey uh, in 2019 when we were asked by Source to go to Montauk and do something to get this ball rolling because everybody on this planet's been saying, look, they're fed up. He says, well, you got willpower. We're going to give it to you. You guys get it started. Okay. You guys are the soldiers, the boots on the ground. We did that. That was March during the summer equinox, full moon of 2019. Certain things happened after that. I don't have time to tell the whole story. If any, we'll do interviews later if you want some videos and I can explain to you the whole uh, ley line, grid line. Uh, opening the portal opening some of the things we did uh, in Europe Stonehenge Athens Bosnian pyramids uh, Dom and her again we'll save those for other videos and you've been to all those places and yeah. you told me the story about how your friend from Colombia started hearing the word Montauk so yeah. the two of you went there and yeah. did a meditation yeah, yeah. Like That's a story. But Source kept telling him, uh, go see Chad. You got to go to Montauk. This is Source telling Juan. And I go, you know, Montauk? He didn't, he didn't know anything about Montauk. He's from Colombia. So, you know, we were in Florida at the time. And um, we, uh, we went and spent a, a day or two there doing this and uh, starting the whole Montauk trip. It all has to do with uh, the biorhythm of the planet, the 20 year biorhythm, which I'll get into a little bit. Again, I'm, I'm gonna go back and forth and you, you guys can catch a lot of this. Uh, a lot of people know about Montauk, the Philadelphia experiment, the things that happened there. And if you don't, look up a guy named Peter Moon, skybooks.com. Get some of Peter's books because Peter, even though he, he hasn't put all the pictures together, that's what we're going to do in the next month leading up to August 8th, which is the Lion's Gate portal. We're going to put Montauk together with Romania. And we call it sacred Romania. Peter's written a lot about Romania. Okay, When the founders races came here billions of years ago, there's a place called the holographic projection room. Our government, okay, they're still trying to keep this secret. Romania is protected by the US military and also the Romanian military. Back in 2003, thereabouts, a little before that, our government, the Pentagon, we have what's called LIDAR, okay, ground penetrating radar. They found this big cavern under the Sphinx, okay, in the Buseji Mountains in Romania. So our government wanted to get into it, but Romania at the time wasn't part of NATO. They did everything they could to talk to the Romanian government. So they finally made them part of NATO. Hello. Working with the Illuminati and other um, entities, let's say, uh, to get into the pyramid. Uh, well, it's a pyramid underneath the Sphinx, but it's also a big holographic projection room, okay? So when they got in there, right after 2003, they brought all the tanks. Again, read Peter Moon's books, all about Montauk and all about Romania. I think there's maybe six or seven about Romania, okay? You'll understand what has happened there. So these founders came down, it's called holographic projection room. Remember that. All have to do with Michael Talbot's book called Holographic Universe. We're living in a hologram. Okay. Okay. So start putting these sim symbolic pieces together, guys. Okay. I'm going to give it to you, but you're going to put it together. Okay. It's all pieces of the puzzle for you to understand. So when these founders came down, okay, made this room, there's underground tunnels. Once they get in there, the both militaries went through the solid rock to get into the rooms. Some of the military guys got killed getting in there because they had this unbelievable security system off planet 
okay? They opened up the rooms, they got in there. It took a couple of years, I guess, uh, for them to discover everything. There's underground tunnels there that go to Tibet, go to Machu Picchu, go to uh, underground uh, tunnels underneath the pyramid, under the Sphinx in Egypt, okay? And all over the place, okay? Three main tunnels that branch off. Again, read Peter's books and you're gonna get all this stuff. Um, so they found this. If you put your hand on one of the tables there, it's about six feet high. Now these founders were big beings, I guess, because they say they must've been 15 feet tall to use these tables. You put your hand on the table, Let's say I, I wanted to find out my genetics, okay? If I was uh, Palladian, Lyrian, Arcturian, whatever, it would give you your total ge genetics because we're a cross between, let's say, 22 different species. We're really uh, royalty, genetic royalty. That's why they're trying to keep our spirituality down here on this planet and keep us dense instead of light. We are light. Okay. Now, would you say that this table represents the Akashic records? Well, it yeah, it, it, it'll go back and tell you about <clears> anything <throat> you want to know in the universe. Um, like yourself, if you put your hand there, it'll tell you what your genetic makeup is. And uh, am I predominantly Octorian? It'll tell me the percentages of, of what I am as an Octorian. In your case, maybe Palladian. Okay. Uh, we won't go there. You know, we know things that other people don't. So they'll tell you what, yeah, I haven't been there yet. Okay. Right. Well, can, can anybody get in there or is it heavily guarded? No, heavily guarded. Heavily right. Guarded. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a couple pictures in a minute. I want to show you our bodies. We're made up of chakras and how we can bring this energy in this light energy from the father, which is the sun, central sun, okay? We're gonna bring it into our heart. And this is why the Knights Templars do the Holy Grail Vortex. Uh, and with our intent, bringing this into our heart. Uh, again, this is for everybody watching this. I want you to understand what we're, you know, I want you to do on August 8th, the Lion's Gate portal opening at eight in the morning and eight at night. So just remember, 888, August 8th, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Well, and does it matter what time zone you're living in? No, no because they're going to be doing it all over the planet. So we're going to bring all this light in, okay? I want you to meditate, learn. I'm going to teach you how to do the Holy Grail Vortex and bring it into your heart, okay? With a child, the Trinity, we're going to bring it in and bring it down to mother earth okay all this divine light the light of purity and ascension as a guy as a master named serapis bay used to say if you read about serapis bay you'll understand his energy and what he was here <clears throat> well he was i did uh, i just, um, downloaded transylvanian sunrise which was Peter Moon's first book, I believe. He's written seven so far. Right. And it, it's gotten incredible reviews from over 400 people. Well, after but, this, you might have to write another one about all this because Peter's going to be putting all this together too. There's a lot that I haven't said yeah. yet. But I'll yeah, be with I can't wait to read, read it because he met with this Romanian man who was like, he was like Romanian CIA, like our, our CIA, right? And he had a lot of very, very, about time travel. It was called and, De Department Zero. And Cesar Brad and Radu Sinmar. Right, right, Sinmar. Right, for right. the secret government in Romania, okay? Before our government got involved, okay? And they started doing things. And one of them is an extraterrestrial born on this planet but it's special read the books uh very very fascinating stuff okay so uh peter moon uh sky books get to him your, your website again before we forget is rebecca trip.com Trip yeah yeah rebecca trip.com you can get my book there i'll send you a signed copy if you order it off my website as opposed to amazon where you can also get it but yeah uh, 
it's better by direct from me secrets of a metaphysical flight attendant i mean like chad i've been interested in anything unusual for my whole life and that was why i became a, a crew member back in the 60s and quickly learned from the pilots about the ufo cover up the, mm -hmm. the government cover ups the news cover ups i learned and because i had i was you had you had pilot captain friends who had friends who worked on who flew air force 1 Oh, I know. Let's, we won't get into those stories. Don't get into that story. I'll I'll get banned from YouTube. But I yeah, I heard yeah. secrets about very famous people. Uh, that would be kind of it, it shocked me when I started to hear these things. But you know, nothing is as it appears to be. That's why you have to have an open mind, right? Right. But getting back to the books and the websites, we talked about Donald M. Tony, his wife Babette. Uh, just put the book out. It came out less than a month ago in Amazon called Universal Everlasting Life. So if you go on Amazon, you can buy the book and it's all about turning our body into light. Okay. And so we can learn how to ascend and get off this planet. And in the meantime, we're here to help that process by bringing the light down and making a heaven here on earth because uh, no one else is going to do it but us we have to take you know we have to realize that you're right no one else does it we need to take control of our own consciousness and our sovereignty and not want to be a slave you have to want to free yourself right. and then you find the avenues yep. to find to find the freedom so yeah. getting getting on with this about montauk in Romania and why we call it sacred Romania, because that's where the founders races started everything in this holographic projection room, all these tunnels going all over the planet. Um, it's a very, very uh, sacred place. Uh, Sajminu, I don't know, it's another place we're going. Um, it's kind of like a, a Stonehenge, but it's there in Romania. And um, what I want to tell people about is, uh, Peter Moon wrote some books about Montauk also. Uh, Preston Nichols. Preston Nichols was there and he worked with the reptilians and the draconians when they had the Montauk chair. It's all underground. Uh, that's when they did the Philadelphia experiment uh, back in 1943. If anybody knows about that. Again, this is all going to be, I'm going to connect everything well, me. Nichols knew how the radio frequencies worked, and that's why he was he was at the Montauk experiment project. Yes, he and uh, you know, labs. right, exactly, yeah. And I'm and, gonna put up a, a piece of paper. Well, actually, let's let's do this, and we'll keep talking. I want to show everybody how we all have chakras and vortexes. Every chakra. That we have as a lot of vortexing coming out of our uh, vortexes coming off of each chakra and that's why we have to learn to eat right and purify our bodies um so we can start doing some of this stuff uh all right you see some of these okay and i'm just going to go through them quick but you guys get the idea how our bodies we're a machine okay with the probably the best machine that the, the creator ever made on this planet. And that's why they're trying to keep us down because we know, some of us know how powerful we are and uh, they know it too. So that's why that 1% is trying to keep the 99% honed down on this planet. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. I'm going to talk about maybe uh, the Ark of the Covenant and the Ark of An. The Ark of the Covenant is a divine masculine. The Ark of An, which Thoth brought in uh, uh, a little before 2013, he activated this little, see this chip? You know, the ETs make crop circles. This oh, was, that's the crop circle from California. Yes, in California. Most of them are in uh, other countries, especially uh, UK. All right. right, a lot of them in England. The stone but... is a control center. And we use these things. They give us these uh, symbolic crop circles to tell us what to do. 
uh, what symbolism they use and what they want us to work on. Let's say the Knights Templars or the Marys when we do prayer work and vortex work. We'll work on one of these crop circles. Uh, go on crop circle connector and they come out every now and then. Some, you know, we get a few in a week and some we won't get any for you know months at a time. But in, I think, December 28th, you know, when I was with William Bueller, uh, we learned that uh, this crop circle, this, um, let's call it a digital chip that they put there in point, uh, oh, somewhere in California or out on the coast. Um, I don't know, see the name of the place. Trump. Shumsley, California, or something like that. Oh, Point Lobos, Point Lobos. And what Thoth has told everybody, okay, again, this is hearsay. I'm, you know, I'm, it wasn't, I wasn't the channeler. And this was brought there along with the Ark of An, which is at Mount Challenger in Crestone, Colorado, to activate all the computers on the planet to put in all the divine programs that need to be put in, okay? And another subject we'll get into in another video when Mary Hardy, Gail, and myself went to Crestone, I believe it was August of 2019, after March of Montauk, uh, then April, then I did the trip um, all over the um, Europe, let's say, with the, with the grid lines and the portals opening things up to get ready for what's happening now. Okay, this is a very important now moment, guys. We're almost there. And if we want- Well, that's what everyone's saying. This is the great awakening. And right. this is the time where you really want to learn how to go within right. and you know, not be fearful of what's out there because yeah. fear- and, and this is where I'm going to teach you guys how to what we do as Templars. To yeah, it'll be very interesting because a it's simple. a technique that obviously works for people. And I want everybody to focus all their energy where I'm going to show you in a minute. But let's get back to the Montauk project that Peter Moon's books. If you can see all this here. Again, this is backwards, so I can't really see what I'm showing you guys. But you see Brookhaven Labs here where uh, Preston Nichols used to work. Were those located in New Jersey or no, New York? It's on Long Island. Okay. Is it near Montauk Point? Yes. Montauk is way on the east end. At the end. Yeah. Yes. And Montauk's very important because there's a big underground pyramid there. There's tunnels going underneath Montauk. Uh, the word Montauk, uh, the indigenous Indians, it means pharaoh. Okay. Again, read Peter's books. You'll get a lot. Peter is a brilliant guy. And he put a lot of things together for people. Um, now tell people you're going to Romania with Peter. Yes, and, and a group. Yes, it's, it's for it's a, right G, Dream Workshop, and we're going to encompass this um, for the Lions Gate portal opening of August eighth. Okay, right. and then a twenty year biorhythm for the planet. Remember, 1943, they started this at the Montauk Project, and they put a ripple in time, okay? They screwed things up when they did the Philadelphia experiment. Tesla was there. Don Tony was there overlooking it for naval intelligence, okay, Donald M. Tony. Uh, he was supposed to have uh, dinner with Tesla the next day, I think, but, you know, Tesla- He was a Navy guy, right? Yes, he was part of Navy intelligence. He was Ein, uh, Eisenhower's bodyguard, FDR's bodyguard years ago. Different stories I can get into a different day. Okay, I, again, I can talk forever about this stuff, but I met him when when you, I was with you and you were in the back seat. If people go to that video, Charmin Charmin YouTube channel, you get to see Don Tony. We don't have a lot of videos of him uh, because, as you know, he wanted to be as common as dirt. And that's what he told yeah, me. Yeah, but he definitely had an aura, uh, a way about him that was. Um, As he used terrible. to turn his body to light, too. Yeah. Uh, and so let's get back to Romania because this is what this whole thing is about. And I'm going on with you today, this, this Zoom call. There's a heart in Romania. That's why it's called Sacred Romania. Okay. 
And what I want everybody to do when we do this Holy Grail Vortex for August 8th, I want you to spin the vortex and put all your energy, okay, when we do the intent at the end, to this heart and send it there, okay? I'll give you the coordinates later. We'll send them along with the video to the conference, okay? So they can just have a visual. Again, everything is intent. I, I don't need you guys to, you know, be very specific and, and, and say, well, it's going to be, everything is in our minds, okay? So it's 99% intent. This is Transylvania, where Count St. Germain, you remember him? One of the ascended masters, okay? He had, they had a castle there. I forget his last name, uh, Renovix or something like that, okay? Now, if you look down at that picture I just showed you by satellite, you're going to find what it looks like where they put this holographic projection room. You see that dragon? Okay. Oh. Well, guess where those Busegli Mountains are and where that holographic projection room is? We call it the Order of the Dragon, Agatha. Here's Peter Moon stand, standing in 2008 at the Sphinx. Okay, remember there's another Sphinx in Giza. I believe this one's older. There's a reason why it's older. Uh, all the rivers that flow, this is another picture of the dragon, but you can see these all rivers flowing from the Sphinx, all the water. Uh, topographical map it shows the face of the profile of the Sphinx looking towards Tibet. The Sphinx is the pineal area. Uh, the chin is called the Thorns of Babush, Baba. Again, we saw uh, the dragon again. Again, this is a, a space shot of Romania, all right? And the heart of the dragon is what we're going to aim for, guys, okay? We're going to pierce that heart. Just keep that well, in is, your the drag is the dragon good or bad? Everything's good and bad on this planet. This is this is duality. Right. Okay. Yeah. Your thinking makes it so. That's true. <laughs> okay. Mary Baker Reddy told you that in Christian science. And you know that as well as I do. This is the uh, Buseji Mountains and the Sphinx. And it's situated exactly in the heart. Again, I'm showing you guys all this for a reason. Because I want you to concentrate on August 8th. All the intent. You guys uh, ever hear of a guy named Jules Verne? Wrote a lot of books years ago. Well, he wrote about the Carpathian Mountains, what I'm talking about, and journey to the center of the earth. So what did he know back then that I'm bringing back out now? Okay. A lot of gold tunnels in Romania. Uh Rick Jewels is there working on the copper mines right now and other, we have other groups. We, we're all connected. A lot of us are working divinely all over this planet in different groups doing things, okay? There's a group that's gonna see this. Other groups are gonna be, not see it and they still know what we're doing. Okay, uh, there's five Tibetan initiation te techniques. Again, go on Peter Moon's site. You can get a lot of this stuff. Uh, go on Kerry Cassidy's site and listen to uh, Peter uh, Preston Nichols' interview. It's an audio one because they didn't want that one to be. Uh, he's going to put together Romania and Montauk also and all the stuff that's been going on there. Um, well, and Dr. Michael Sala has an interview with Peter Moon that came out about a year ago. It's very interesting. Yes, Yes, uh, my, I met him in, uh, actually, Michael Sala was there in uh, Mount Shasta and we were there. I don't know if you met him too, uh, at the conference in uh, McLeod, the uh, southern face of uh, Mount Shasta. All right, uh, again, another story. We could be getting off subject here forever. Now, that mountain I'm talking about where the pyramid is, uh, excuse me, not pyramid, it's, it's underneath the mountain, but see the Sphinx, it's called Mount Omu means mountain of mankind, okay? Holographic projection room, mankind, holographic universe, okay? Let's, let, let's put all the pieces of the puzzle together here, guys, and start seeing things. 
All right, and this is, you can see the uh, Sphinx on top of this picture, maybe. Uh, it's not a picture of a Sphinx, but they call it Babel. Uh, Babel, Babylonia, for a reason. The vertical, this is the underground room. See the dome? Like when I went to Montauk, well, I've been here a few times, but I, my last visit, I think we did another ceremony there. Uh, Black Hawk helicopters came after the ceremony. How amazing. And uh, I had my EMF meters. Montauk is still pulsing to this day. They say, ah, it's deactivated. People don't know about Montauk. You mean it's pulsating at a different frequency? Yeah, it's still pulsating. Yeah. People, a lot of people knew about Montauk, a lot of our presidents. Why was the first lighthouse commissioned in Montauk by George Washington? Hello, who was a Mason? Jefferson? Okay, there are four other presidents. I'm uh, trying to think. They wanted to go learn from the Montauk Indians. Okay, first lighthouse, first Congress commissioned the lighthouse in Montauk. Well, and they made a military base there before the Montauk experiment people took over. Yes, it's about yeah. seven seven stories underground. Oh, yeah. And they say it's decommissioned. They don't do anything there. Well, uh, this is the other thing that gets me. I mean, mm -hmm. I started flying in 67. I immediately started hearing things that got my attention from former World War II pilots, mm -hmm. Vietnam pilots. Because crew members are very tight. When you're up in the sky, you, you have conversations. What else are you going to do? <laughs> and, you know, and, and if I know what I know, there are people that know a whole lot more than me. And but they would have lost their easy. jobs if they talked about the UFOs. They well, saw. that's absolutely true. And they explained to me, if I told you some of the secrets I know, they would destroy me. So I can't right. tell you. But they would tell me enough that I knew there's a lot of secrets. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing to me how many people just want to be asleep. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give away another secret. They moved the Montauk chair to Edwards Air Force Base in California. I have friends that uh, have been there. Their husbands, uh, actually, they just uh, uh, killed her. Her name is Celestine Starr, written a book. She's spoken with us at different conferences, Mount Shasta. Get her a book. Uh, Celestine Starr is her name. She just passed. Uh, Beth and I were with her. Fairfax at her house, her condo in Fairfax, California. Um, at, uh, oh, I think it was January uh, of last well, year. Well, explain to people what the Montauk Talk Chair does. Uh, well, let's get back to this. Montauk here in that Montauk chair, not the one in Ed Edwards now, which they moved. Um, uh, Preston Nichols tells you a little bit about it, but there were some guys named Al Bielik, Duncan Cameron, who were cousins. Um, Sturt Swedlow is the last living Montauk survivor who sat in the chair. Uh, Al and Duncan used to go to Mars. They used, you know, teleportation or biolocation, whatever you want to call it. Okay, you could go different places. They brought in. Well, Al, Al, doesn't Al say he was there with Obama? Uh, a guy named. Uh, or Barry Satoru. Satur Satur he was called. Yeah. Right, right. Obama, uh, Nickus, uh, Nicholson, he was a the governor of Nevada or something like that. Um, and I'm trying to think of the other guy's names. But yes, some of them were part of that project. Um, a couple of them, you know, probably went to Mars. I don't know. So you could uh, teleport in the in the Montauk chair. I've also heard you could manifest yes. out of the ether. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that was another thing they did, there was a, a, a big animal, let's say Sasquatch or whatever, that came in from another dimension uh, into Montauk when I forgot who was in the chair. I think it was Preston. Uh, or, I don't know who it was. Read, read Peter's books. You, you get the whole thing. Talks about it in those books. The Mon Well, he's got one called The Montauk Experiment, that book. Yeah. 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 Very, very good info. But again, uh, this whole thing is about 
the Lionsgate portal. I want everybody to get this video for the conference. Um, and we have something special. Uh, Frank's going to share one of our uh, head Templars. Um, and it, we'll put that out as a, uh, an afterthought here um, uh, to deal with the uh, uh, what's happening in Romania before August 8th. But we'll put that out on a different um, Zoom call. All right. How long will you be will you be in Romania when you go with this Peter? Uh, if everything goes well, I'll be back probably middle of August. So, okay. so I'm going to leave the dates out right now. But yeah. So remember that eight 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 in the morning, eight at night. Okay. And what I want everyone to do is just follow me here. Okay. And this is when we're, we want to move energy because that's that's all there is is energy. Tesla said, if you understand energy, frequency, vibration, you'll understand this universe. So we're going to be moving some energy, guys. And we're going to take all just, this is our intention. Just look up and get into your frontal lobes. Okay, take a deep breath. Ask for permission to do this. Okay. And if you get a resounding yes, it's our free will to bring heaven back to earth on this planet get rid of the one percent that's trying to enslave the planet it's our intention to just send the divine love from the father from the creator from the son into us okay and what you're going to do is you're going to say the first stanza of what we call the great invocation okay and you're going to say from the point of light within the mind of god let light stream forth into the minds of men let light descend on earth we're going counterclockwise we're spinning a vortex and we're bringing that energy in down from the father into the child we're the child okay then we're going to say the second stanza we're going to go counterclockwise again okay bringing it in because that brings it down from the point of love within the heart of god let love stream forth into the hearts of men may christ return to earth we're bringing the christ energy into us into our heart into our chakras make sure that well you try and purify all your chakras and balance them and just get them vibrating okay then what we're going to do is take that love that's in our heart that we just brought down and we're going to bring it down to the mother okay into the earth mother earth she's been nourishing us for all these years without her and without the father we wouldn't we wouldn't be alive guys okay so we're going to go clockwise now we're going to bring it down into her all this love and light we're going to infuse it with pure light okay you get it the ascension light from the center where the will of god is known let purpose guide the little wills of men the purpose which the masters know and serve okay again counterclockwise clockwise excuse me clockwise this time bring it down into the earth we're putting it down then we're going to do the same thing we're going to say from the center which we call the race of men let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells okay and when we did that we brought the energy out more just like we did before we brought it down the first counterclockwise circle and then we brought it another three feet out and same thing we did with this energy clockwise we brought it out and then out further into the earth okay and then at the end we say let light and love and power restore the plan on earth and i like to say let light and love and divine power restore the plan on earth let light and love and divine power restore the plan on earth three times okay and we say thank you thank you thank you and we have our intent sometimes uh, we play green sleeves as the marys their their sleeve their uh, arms would be glowing green it's the healing energy coming from marys mary magdalene okay um again i'm giving you guys the cliff notes but you understand what you have to do now and don't just do it for this august 8th portal opening okay do it after that because we have to keep doing this and infusing this planet with as much light and love that we can give it okay 
they can't take the high vibration. They want to keep us in this dense energy. Okay. So I think you guys understand uh, what I talked about, what I want you to do. Um, does, you think there's anything I left out? I kind of explained things to you before. But, no, that uh, was a, that was very empowering. I felt the energy of you know opening up my chakras and and you know it's so true that we have to just focus on love and light to transform anything that comes along that could look frightening because evil when it's trying to battle with good. And the light always loses, but we have to be strong. Yeah, there's an old scripture. I think it's Ephesians 6.12. It says mm. that we're battling against principalities and powers, right. not this world. Okay. It's a spiritual battle, guys. Okay. We're going to go within. Okay. There's nothing out here. Um, like Donald uh, M. Tony also said, okay. The light that the sun is giving us. It's all the beings of love giving us all the divine light. And we just have to accept it and bring it in and then give it out. That's what we have. Nice you image. Now, why don't you share? What's the name of Don's book? Do you, do you oh, know that? Yes. Universal Everlasting Life. Okay. It's a recipe book, just like the Bible, but he explains things very simply about our organs, what they do, what everything is. You it's amazing. It's the first of seven books that we should have coming out. Um, and there's, there's a website, universaleverlastinglife.com. You can buy the, the book on or Amazon. Uh, we'll have uel.quest, which is we're going to have for lessons, uh, CDs that he had lessons every two weeks for his students, guys like myself. Well, I wasn't there for the lessons. I was the last student that learned from him personally um but a, a lot of other students uh, i won't name any names uh except one who's passed now was a good friend of mine his name was ralph ring who worked with oh, he was a student i met ralph at the um conference that's yeah, why he was... Tony went to that conference to listen to his student ralph ring speak ralph ring worked with otis carr who worked with tesla for three years and they learn how to build ships, okay? So Otis Car Laboratories in California, he was building little ships and he built bigger ones. He had three big 50-foot ships that would levitate, okay? The first one, he uh, they got in three guys. Ralph was one of the, the three guys that got in. They There were no shifts or, or whatever, sticks or like a plane with their mind telepathically. They went out came back the next day the men in black came ralph told me the story personally i have some some audios I, i'll put out one of these days just me and ralph sitting in the car talking for hours amazing amazing audios uh but the men in black came the next day handed otis Carr a paper handed ralph ring a paper they couldn't talk to each other the rest of their lives oh where are those ships now those ships are at area 51 Wow. Okay. Yeah, you know, it, it really is true that there's so many amazing secrets that are hidden from everyone because mm -hmm. they just don't want it out there. But I think if you're a seeker, it's important to know <laughs> what's going on, even if it's kind of scary. I'd rather know the truth. The truth will set you free. You listen to videos like this, read books like your book. Um, yeah. Secrets of a Metaphysical Flight Attendant, Universal Everlasting Life. There's a lot of them, you know, uh, are learning how to breathe, like Gail Mack's book, Spiral Breath. People are going to the conference this weekend in Allegan, Michigan, um, which is uh, Mary's conference has been going on for 40 years. Uh, without Mary Hardy on this planet and what she's done and brought all the Templars together into Mary's, I wouldn't be here right now. Okay. Um, and all the other beings that have come into my life who are here they've been here for millions of years like some of us have okay and we're we're just here again to do different things right like yourself it's a fascinating journey and you know, it's a journey it all now. starts to make a lot more sense once you 
have the revelations about, and I'm dying to hear about your trip to um, Romania after you come back. Right. We'll have another video <clears> on that. I want to hear what you find out about that secret room with the giant table. I've been trying to get in there, but Peter says, Chad, we can't get in there. There's no way. And he has some contacts there, but no. No, there's another cave that he goes to. It's called uh, Chuck Lavina Caves, I think, where they've had time travel machines, time travel reactor. Okay. And a guy named David Anderson uh, has a time travel research lab that Peter's knows pretty well. But again, another subject, another day. I don't want to say- right, We'll have to talk about that another time because I've been listening to Peter mention time travel and how he was taught how to do it by that man. But that was great. I think it's time for us to sign off because we've been on for a while. But right. um, um, do you want anybody, do you have a website or anything that people could go to if they want to connect with you? Divinequantum.com. D-I-V-I-N-E, quantum, one word, dot com, or shaman, like the toilet paper, shaman, toilet paper. S-H-A-R-M-A-N, correct? M-I-N. M-I-N, S-H-A-R-M-I-N. C-H-A-R-M-I-N. Oh, C-H, okay. Um, And then shaman, S-H-A-M-A-N. So C-H-A-R-M-I-N. S H A M A N, shaman, okay. shaman, like the toilet paper. I As got a Catholic doctor. I'm kind of like shaman toilet paper. I'm cleaning up other people's crap. It, it was a joke <laughs> when I first did my website. I get it. Well, you do have some products you you sell too, so people can check that out. All right. Well, thank you, Chad, and um, it was great. I loved all this information about me. Good luck, guys, and we have free will on this planet the creator gave it to us he wants us to use it let's change things absolutely it's bye. time bye